A study by the UN Convention on Combating Desertification shows that an estimated 8.2 million trees were cut down for charcoal in Somalia between 2011 and 2017. Experts believe deforestation is the main cause of recurrent famine conditions in Somalia. They are linking this to over 7 million people, mainly women and children, who are now on the brink of starvation. From 1990, when the uh, Somali government collapsed, until uh, recently, mostly uh, in most of the uh, land, Somalia has experienced a, a large number of deforestation of about 20 million trees has disappeared. But for the last three, four years, that number has decreased and, uh, effectively. So the number now is, but the trees that we have uh, lost before, we didn't uh, actually get back. So that's uh, the, the, the impact of, of, of the climate change we can see also. Mohammed is agitating for national awareness campaign on the significance of planting trees. At national level, we need some programs so that we can uh, develop uh, the water resources, we can plant uh, 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 trees, and also we can create also institutions that are capable to do something. At very local level, the people, they have to stop cutting the trees and also causing deforestation and, uh, and, 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 and clearing the land for nothing. So these are the solutions that has to be in place. Aid agencies are offering necessary support to victims of drought, despite lacking sufficient resources. Themed rising up from drought together, this year's World Day to combat desertification and drought is a rallying call to Somalia and other Horn of African nations to work together to prevent loss of lives due to drought.